Hey guys, welcome back to another Weekend of Meals video. If you're new here, in these videos we share some of the yummy food we had over the weekend, as well as some clips of family fun. If you guys enjoyed these videos on my channel, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you guys enjoy spending part of our 4th of July with us. Now let's get to the video. So before we get to the food this week, I wanted to share this awesome garage sale find with you guys. I stuffed this in the back of my car because I found it for only $60. It needs a little bit of love, but it's solid wood and in pretty good condition. And with just a little paint job one day, it'll look brand new. So for now, I'm just gonna get it cleaned up a bit and then I can have some extra drawer and cabinet space in our tiny kitchen. So in the cabinets, I put all of the stuff that's too big to fit in our regular cabinets that I was tired of digging for. On one side I have the stuff I don't use as much, my cake pans and some of our plastic stuff, as well as my cake dome, our toaster we don't really use anymore, and some bread pans. Then in the middle, I put our mixing bowls and our strainers that we use all the time when we're cooking. And on the bottom, the bigger parts of our food processor. And on this side, I have my tea pitchers and my salad spinner, my crock pot, our waffle maker, and my egg poaching pan, which we only use for Eggs Benedict on New Year's Day. To clear some space in the kitchen cabinet drawers, I moved our silverware into this one. It's empty now because most of them are in the dishwasher. In the middle drawer, I have all of Adam's grilling stuff that's not already outside. And in this one we have the cheese grater and some things we don't use as much, as well as all of the attachments to the food processor. So now we have two empty drawers right next to the stove to put all of our spices, and this cleared some space in our pantry. Girl, what? Firefighter Spider-Man. Oh, wait. Firefighter Spider-Man. No hat. Where's your hat? Uh, maybe not. What are you? Two different kinds of Spider-Man put together? Mm -hmm. I find my ambient off of Spider-Man. The mask is mild. And, uh... For the first dinner of the weekend, we had some sweet and spicy Sloppy Joes. We started with one pound of ground beef, then added in three tablespoons of brown sugar. Then we seasoned that to taste with some chili powder, cumin, paprika, cayenne, and salt and pepper.
then we added one tablespoon of Worcestershire, one tablespoon of sriracha, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Next came one cup of tomato juice, and finally two tablespoons of a cornstarch slurry. We just put our filling in some sub rolls and added in some Mexican blend cheese and sliced jalapenos. Then we just baked these at 350 degrees until the bread was toasted and the cheese was melted. And for dessert, the boys had some of this two-in-one Oreo and Chips Ahoy ice cream. Well, that's good. All kinds of ice creams in it. You excited? Yeah, this is gonna be the The next day was the 4th of July. I cut up some paper towel rolls and got out some paint, and the boys made some firework creations. What are you? Fireworks! <laughs> okay, we got the fireworks! Careful! <laughs> Yeah, don't do that. First time I did it, then second time I did it. Yeah.
so I just have a small grocery haul, mostly some junk food and snacks for movie night, and a few things we needed. We got some seasoned crinkle cut fries, some green beans and broccoli, some pizza rolls, and for an easy dinner we got some buffalo wings and some popcorn chicken. We also got some of this beef top round that's thin cut, and some baby back ribs and a gallon of milk. We got some extra cheesy Cheez-Its, some beef broth and chicken broth, some chicken dipping sauce, which I haven't tried yet, some golden hominy and some ketchup, two cans of evaporated milk, and two cans of pork and beans. We've been using paper plates a lot because I really don't feel like washing dishes, and we were also out of freezer bags and foil. This is the movie we got to watch with the kids tonight. It looked really cute and we thought they would enjoy it. To go with our movie, we got some Good and Plenty's gummy worms and peach rings. And we also got some Ranch Doritos and some Flamin' Hot Dill Pickle Chips. And of course, a super easy dinner for movie night is some popcorn chicken and french fries. This weekend, I also got my July Sips Buy box. If you don't know about Sips Buy, it's a monthly subscription box company that sends you four different teas from four different companies every month, and they're personalized just for you. Each box comes with this handy little card that tells you more about each tea in the box and how to make them. You also get a reusable muslin cloth tea bag, and it's full of disposable bags for all of your loose leaf tea. The first tea I got this month was this Boost Tea from Tea Drops. It's a blend of matcha, ginger, and lemon. Next up was this Vanilla Nut Herbal Tea from Tea Chino. It has flavors of almonds, dates, and figs. I also got this Toasted Coconut Black Tea from High Calf Teas. It's black tea with some extra caffeine. And last but not least is this matcha ice cream green tea from Pinky Up. If you guys are interested in trying out Sip Spy, I'm going to leave a link to their website down in my description box, as well as a code where you can save $5 off your first box. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending part of our weekend with us. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. 
So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.